Hi, this is the part two of a tutorial about PHP My Admin. In part one, you could know how to create a database, a database table, and how could you choose the, all the properties of the tables. And we made test six table let's go down here if you wanted to add one field to this table so you could expand the table structure for example mm, email to field you could choose the type which is a worker and has 255 length let's save it as you can see this field added here at the end of the table but you could add field one field after message field so if you choose the field name and type and save it it creates a field after message field alright let's try to insert values you could add here and this is just a form to fill the forms the ID field is generated automatically if you choose a primary key and an auto increment option so you mustn't fill the form contains ID the email phone and message date time date time has another function to add the date and the time value into this form one of is to select from a calendar but the computer could do it if you choose a function here which is now if you fill your database with PHP Miami it's a good idea I think alright and let's go here which is email 2 let's fill the form and send if you send this form it creates an SQL query which insert values into these fields for example add an email a phone and so on and here you can see the date time now function and as you can see this is a value of an ID you could add value but it generated automatically and so on let's see what happened browse the table you could browse here you can see that the value the ID the date time has inserted and date time is the correct time when I add a record into this table you could delete it and this is the SQL query which deletes a record from your table identification is 
1 so we delete a record where the ID field value is 1 so you didn't need to add all these values from the table you could choose with one field which is an identification field and let's, let's delete it if you insert another one and so on see what happened but the ID is 2 so the ID is where you won't delete it if you if you if you delete a row from your table it's automatically generated and don't forget this value alright you could edit this row and edit these values with an our function you could update the registration date and time and this is an SQL query how to update a record identificated with the ID field with these fields uh, values sorry and it changed now I think uh, you could know the basics let's trial PHP MyAdmin and, and let's play with the the options and so on and let's see and visit php code.hu php code.hu it's a generator to to create php code to easy alright bye bye